But uh, if you want to stick around for a little Q&A, let's do that real quick. And I'll answer all your questions to the best of my abilities. And let's uh, start that right now. Huh? All right. Uh, all right. Let's see. This is a good question. Callum. Hey, Rob, did you DCA Bitcoin today? As of Sunday, did you DCA day? Yes. Yes, I did. So, and then people will say, ah, you shouldn't have DCA today because if the, the price is up. What? So that's true if you're really looking at it like that. But think of it like this. I always look at it as like I'm a farmer and I'm planting seeds along the way. So remember when Bitcoin was, it dropped to 17,400? I bought that day. And then remember when it went below 20,000, which has been below 20,000? I kept buying during that, during that time too. So I just plant the seeds along the way, right? And, and what I could do if I, was, uh, if I was so inclined is I could take the profits on that, on that 17,400, 19,800, 19,600. I could take profits today. And I'm okay with that because that's part of the rules, right? The rules that we're always talking about, things that we should actually do or not we should do what I do. I can't tell you what to do, right? Let me put this out of the way. Uh, the rules. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Don't leave anything on exchanges. Don't trade on leverage and take profits along the way because no one ever went broke taking profits. So those are the rules that I have. But today I'm going to buy. Actually, I don't even think about buying. It actually happens in the background because uh, I just have it on, on Coinbase. Yeah, I know. And uh, have it all set up and it just goes off every single day at a certain amount. And I don't even think about it because if I had to do that all the time, I would never, I would forget to do it. So yeah, that's what's happening. And then some people would say, well, you know, it's going to drop at some point. Yeah, it is. If you look at uh, the traders and the TA people, they think it's, we're going to see, we're going to go up to 23, 24,000 and it's going to go below 20,000. I don't see this as the next, this is the catalyst of the bull run. I just, I just don't see it, especially with all the things that are going on in macro, the macro environment, especially with electricity. I mean, if you're in Europe, are you going to start to buy a bunch of crypto, but yet you can't afford electricity? I'd rather be warm than have Bitcoin. Sorry. That's just how it is. Some people are like, you're crazy. I'd rather freeze my A off than have Bitcoin. All right. Whatever you want to do. Hello, not me. Are you getting paid to promote the art business? So St. Jude needs us a great question. So we had uh, Masterworks on. And they are a... They are part of the show. They are an affiliate. So I use affiliate links in there. And so if you don't use the affiliate links, that's okay. And then you can do whatever you want to do. However, uh, remember, uh, St. Jude needs us. Uh, I have also invested in this company. I talk about my Basquiat and my Banksy all the time. So yes, uh, if you don't want to use the affiliates, uh, I want to use the, then you don't have to use the affiliate links whatsoever but uh, you can go right to their website, whatever else. I just think it's a sound investment, personally. I don't want, if you think it's not for you, then do not invest into artwork. Good question. Daniel, do you trade daily? Do you average up and down? I don't trade, Daniel. It's very rare that I do that. Mm, that's right. Never forget. Good point. The shares right now. I'm happy with anything, but we shouldn't. User did indeed take all the risk. Yes, they did. <laughs> happy Sunday, David. It's Sunday pump day. We'll see what happens on Monday. Yeah, and this is another thing. So I keep getting this complaint. Been watching for two years. Love your content, but I still never get notifications of live stream. Hopefully, get hold with whoever buys Voyager. So I've been toying with the idea of, you know, that website I have, Dan Teaches Crypto, the one that's 100% free, 100% free. And I curate all the, the best information I can possibly get and put it on there. So it's easy for you to access. Uh, and then, of course, when you sign up, you agree to give me, give me your email. So it is what it is. You got to give me an email, but it's free. Uh, I'm thinking about, I never spam people. I never say, this is a great offer coming up. I just talk about like when I add new videos into the website, that's pretty much it. But I am toying with the idea of just sending out emails as a notification to say, hey, I'm going live in five minutes. So just so you know, because it's not like YouTube's going to help me out. 
Thanks, Hodor. Appreciate it. Uh, can sell the market or hodl. Travis got a good point. Agree with equity share. I agree too. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> so Hillary says, I love how they're calling the day for the next bull market that made me laugh. Look, I'm in the same camp with them. I think around 2025, we'll do pretty well. And I've been talking about this for a while. How long? Because I think we're going to, we're either in a recession or we're going to go into a pretty deep recession. How long do recessions last? Between 18 months and 24 months, which if that happens in 2023, that brings us into 2025. Once we get out of that, then things recover. Does the economy recover? No, because the economy and the market are two different things. I don't think, are we under, under the disillusion uh, right now that uh, with the market's strong and the economy is strong? There's a disconnect. So I think the market will bounce back. 2025 will be pretty good. And um, we'll see some pretty good things around that time. Now, it could extend out to 2026. Hey, if you wait for, if you're waiting for two and a half years, you can wait for three and a half years and go from there. Alex can't be trusted. Dice Forever says, what advantage does Celsius have in Bitcoin mine? None. Zero. I don't think they have any, any advantage whatsoever. The big advantage they do have, though, is that they're not in Europe uh, for all those uh, crazy high gas prices. So that's one thing to look at. And um, besides that, they own, they, I guess the other advantage they have is they own a lot of rigs. And they only, they only have like 50% online right now. I don't even know if they're actually, I don't even think they're actually mining right now. They think they're setting everything up. Correct me in the comments section. So once they get 100% of them up and running, of course, the more hash power they have, uh, the more chance you have to mine more Bitcoin. And then uh, that will be the advantage that they do have, as opposed to like the small little miners out there. D says you look different, Rob. Uh, I don't know. I haven't changed much. I haven't lost much weight. Same thing. Uh, Yeah, so crypto keeper says it's funny they called it, but there are charts from the 1800s that show the seven year and 20 year cycles. Yeah, I am a big believer in cycles. So, and if you want to even go, even do, if you even want to go deeper into that, look at the, the, just do a Google search for the fourth turning, T U R N I N G. <laughs> Rob, sometimes we, we, I'll need you to tell us we're all going to make it, especially the ones that are in towards the end of the last cycle. Hmm. Let me show you something. There's this great website. It's called DCACC. And I was I put out this this request because there's another website called DCABTC.com, but it only does Bitcoin. But this other one here is pretty great. It's dollar cost averaging, but you can use, where is it? Like all the different, a bunch of different uh, cryptos. So let's just take Cardano, for example. I just wanna show you an example. And just remember, everything's in cycles, right? Do, do bear market, first of all, do bull markets last forever? Let me ask everybody that. Does, do bull markets last forever? Does everything go up forever? No. Do bear markets last forever? Does everything go down forever? No, it doesn't. And I think that's something we have to, to remember when I'm talking about this. So if I know that bear markets don't last forever or bull markets last forever, wouldn't it behoove me to invest a little bit, whatever I can afford to lose into some type of investment? Me personally, I have chosen uh, real estate and crypto majority wise. And here we go, Cardano. So let's just say, I don't know. I'm gonna spend 50 bucks per week. And me personally, when I did this, worked out pretty well. 2018, around February 2nd. And let's say that I went to, let's just say I stopped in 2021. Let's just make things easy. We'll pick, Let's just pick April 11th, which is roughly the top, roughly one of the tops. 
And I did the 50 bucks weekly. Is that, let me do some quick math. 50 times four, okay, 200 bucks. It's 200 bucks a month, right? Let me calculate that. See, over time, I don't care so much about the short term. I know over time, everything will work itself out. And everybody has the brain power to invest. It's just, do they have the stomach, right? Pretty, pretty good one, pretty good saying. And it's all about how you keep your mentality, which is why I shared with you that great voicemail from Brian Sweeney as everything was collapsing around him and he was even that doomed airline that was, that was hijacked. Very calm. So I want you to think about that as, is this the worst thing that has ever happened to me? Probably not. As, time, as prices have gone down. And I watched this happen all the way through here. The average cost, I was buying at, first of all, I bought a dollar in 2017. Then I stopped for a bit. I got back in February because I was like, I got to keep doing this. And I was paying eight cents and seven cents, and right? And I was doing this for two, two, it's almost three years. Well, I'm still doing it for Pete's sakes. And I want you to notice what happens here. Over time, you'll see that the, the my return on investment, just put in 50 bucks. Sometimes I'm up for the week, yay. And sometimes I'm down, boo. But as time goes on, time in the market is more important than timing the market. Let me blow this up so you can see it. And I'm going along this nice continuum. My balance in fiat, my investment is 5,800 on April 17, 2020. And I'm actually down 42%, 3,300. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I know that the 10 best days in the market is what's going to bring me up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And here we are. So now my investment of $8,000 that I started three years ago, 50 bucks a week, don't really care. comes up automatically. Well, now I'm at $146,000. It's not bad for four years work of just putting money away and not really thinking about it. So can you get those kind of gains every single time? No, you can't. And that's why it's so important that you really, this is not a set it and forget it kind of market, honestly. Uh, this is one of those markets where you have to be involved a lot and listen to a lot of things because it's so volatile. But Again, time in the market, better than timing the market. I think this is uh, the right thing to do. Now, the big thing there is, will you sell at the very top? Probably not. Probably not. But if you would have kept that $8,000 in your bank account, I could have done that. How much actually gets inflated away? So just something to think about. Something to think about as you move forward and you're thinking, man, this day sucks. This, this market sucks. This is awful. It's just time. I know it's sick. I know you're sick of me saying those things because I used to get sick of YouTubers telling me the same thing in 2018. I was like, how do you know my pain? You don't know me. But as time goes on, now I'm that same guy, unfortunately, because I just go, well, it's just, okay, it's just time. Okay. Ah, what did I forget? <laughs> time in the market is a lot more fun. It is a lot more fun. Um... And there's some things that I like to look at, like there's a couple of charts and we, we did a couple of videos about that. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna put in another video about it, about different charts from looking to Bitcoin, cycle top, cycle bottoms, and go from there. You'll never, here's another thing. It's very hard to time the exact top or the exact bottom, but if I hit it around 60 to 80% of the top, I'll be pretty happy. Ozzy Crypto, I bought, I DC another 100 Bitcoin a day. I have, wow. Crypto 101, hey Rob, any updates on Sweatcoin moving to near? I don't know. I know David wants to hear about it. Uh, they sold out, I think, in 15 minutes for Dow Maker, for Sweatcoin, and I think they were the biggest uh, for the launch pad for our for Sweatcoin to be snatched up as far as a uh, uh, DAO. What was it? Let me show you. People will, of course, in the comments say, that's not right, it was blah, blah, blah. All right, fine. Oops. Let's see. Mm. 
Sweat breaks another down maker. Down maker. I think I said that right. 15 minutes to sell at the public sale. A million worth of sweat sold in 15 minutes. 300,000 Twitter followers. A couple days to go. Setting a record for the number of participants in the public sale on the down maker. 41,000. And then, um, where'd it go? Well, it's not here, but they did. They have 13 million wallets, 13 million crypto wallets in, since April. And they have 110 million downloads from the Web2 part. And then also don't forget, uh, I had Ophir on, Chief Marketing Officer. We talked about how the top five of the top 10 crypto exchanges are going to list Sweatcoin on day one, which will be tomorrow. So we'll see. Clockwise, Sailor buying on spot. They're raising the capital to buy $500 million. Good for him. Ah, uh, yeah. Rob, any video setting up a near wallet? I seem to recall there was something tricky about it. No, but I set mine up and uh, I used uh, uh, my Nano Ledger to control access to it. I should do a video. I probably should do a video on that. <laughs> Ozzy Kirby says, I forgot that some of you were not mining in the early days and didn't get to load up. That's okay. In 10 years, people will be saying, can you believe it was below X, Y, Z and it was only 20,000? Or maybe they'll be like, can you believe people bought Bitcoin? Who knows? I don't know. I think it's going to go some way, but I've been wrong before. <laughs> he usually buys OTC, not spot. That's true. Yeah, that is true. And you know who helps him do that? It's Coinbase. And Coinbase uh, custody, and they do all the things for, for OTC. You are correct. Dave Jensen says, 80% of those 300,000 are bots, Twitter. I have to agree. Video engineer, okay. Yeah, St. Jude's was below 20,000 last week. That's true. It was below 20,000. Uh, will the U.S. be able to install their crypto wall anytime soon? No. Unless Gary Gensler changes his mind about what he considers a security and they get clarity, which they can't. Um, gosh. So, Dindra, Rob, I sold ETH or still holding to decide after merge. I will probably take some profits before the merge because I don't know where it's going to go. Some people say everything's going to crash down. Other people say that institutional investments is going to ramp up because of their... Um, for the staking aspect of it and the yield that they can gain from it is too lucrative to pass up. I don't know. So I just look at it like this. There's so many factors to consider. I just look at, well, what was my average cost? I sell a little bit. I have some dry powder. And if it goes up, well, I missed it, but I got some, got some cash on the side. And then if it uh, goes down, hey, it works out pretty well. And I get to buy some more. I will tell her. <sighs> What do I miss? Hmm, that's a good point. Zero said, we should all put our money with Simon Dixon, Bank of the Future, taking sell silver, Celsius, not trustworthy. Look, I like Simon Dixon. Uh, and I uh, like the things that he's doing. But, uh, but it's maybe like, maybe you're talking about the mental aspect of, of, of putting your money uh, in with Simon. Don't put your money in any one sh place. It's, I think it's a recipe for disaster. Uh, look at all the people that believed in Alex Mashinsky and they put it all in Celsius. And they're like, oh, this is like a savings account. It can't go down. And then bam, there it is. So just remember that. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. <laughs> Jose really wants everybody to know about XMR. Monero. That is doing so great. Uh, great, it's doing great. I don't, here's, here's why. <laughs> here's why I don't talk about Jose, because I don't own it. And I'm super biased on this channel. So I don't talk about it. And I think everybody knows by now that everything I talk about, I uh, own. So that's it. If you want me to talk about it, uh, I'll talk about it when I buy it. But other than that, uh, sure.
Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I think we're good. Look, we're going here on almost 40 minutes for this one. And this is a Sunday. So I'm going to, I think, unless I got anything else. Ah, Eric says, Rob, ate a steak pool, still keep it on. Well, as a matter of fact, that's a great question. Let me see. Glad you asked. Where did it go? Aha. So I just uh, donated, as a matter of fact, yesterday to Kiva. And uh, one of the ones that I'm helping is this young lady here. Uh, to help her buy uh, medicine and food uh, for her business. So, so Kiva, for everybody who's in the Dignity Steak Pool, just know that we donate to Kiva. It helps uh, different third world countries or emerging countries, or even people in the, in the, in the U.S. too, if you really want to do that route, uh, to do these microloans so they can improve themselves. And that's where part of the funds go from the Dignity Steak Pool. So if you're not staking your ADA or Cardano with D news. There's a link in the description. Shows you how to do that and what we're all about and uh, our metrics. Now we can pray to everybody. Yeah, let's see. Whoop. Yes, I think so. If every person in the stream is like it makes the market go up, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Trust nobody. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Like the Queen Coffin went past my village in Scotland. Hmm. I don't understand. How can we donate to help these people with a stake pool? Just don't. You can uh, stake your Cardano with the demons. If you're looking to like, how do we donate? How do we donate to these people uh, without using the stake pool? Just can go to uh, Kiva.org. Where'd it go? Aha. Uh, Kiva.org. And as a matter of fact, I don't know if you guys ever look in the, in the description. Maybe you don't, but uh, in the description of all the videos. I said, help others through microloans. Why I recommend and give, that's the video, and there's the link to Kiva. It's like the third thing on there. So, okay. <laughs> New king is a buffoon. Yeah, we all got agendas, man. That's what it comes down to. All right, everybody. So look, 40 minutes. I think I answered uh, all the questions to the best of my abilities. So I want to say thanks for stopping by on a Sunday. I appreciate it. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. I'll consider subscribing. Don't know if YouTube will uh, notify you, but sure. But that's it for today. So thanks so much for uh, watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios. 1030.